two most important factors, I think, in a group prayer meeting or a church prayer meeting is in, ask God to help you to forget everybody else. You're not there to impress others with your praying. You're not there to, to be eloquent. Your prayers don't have to be fancy or perfect. They don't have to be even theologically accurate the way you'd want them. You know, prayer is the expression of the heart to God. So we need to learn to be free. We need to learn to be ourself. We need to learn to target in prayer. You know, maybe if we come to pray to a prayer meeting, we ought to prepare and say, you know, I'm going to pray for two people tonight or two specific things. Or if there's prayer requests that come forth, I'm going to grab onto one of those or maybe two of them, and I'm just going to target those. And I'm going to be specific. And I'm just going to beseech the Lord to work. And it's, if you have a group of 10 Christians or 30 or 50 Christians who are praying and you have a, a, a corporate time of prayer, if they'll pray that way, if they'll just get down to business and... Uh, one brother prays for this family that's in need. Lord, would you work in them? Here they are. You, you know their need. We're coming to ask you to do this for them. We're in to maybe pray some scripture if it's natural to do so because you know you're praying the mind of God when you do that. But specifically just go and make petition and, and request and make your time brief. It would be better to go shorter and be effectual and then consider, you consider your brothers, you're giving others time to pray. And then later, if, you, if there's a lull and you can pray a second time, then jump in there and do it. But I think if Christians together would forget about the self-consciousness, consider their brethren that uh, to pray brief, short prayers at times, and maybe if you get a real burden for something, you know, it'd be fine to pray for one or two minutes. But five minutes doesn't sound like a long time, and it's not when you're praying alone. But for, if somebody prays for five minutes in a corporate prayer meeting, it can ruin the spirit of the prayer meeting because they begin to dominate. And others can lose interest or they, afterward they don't know what to pray, you know. So it's being sensitive about that you have brothers and sisters there that God wants to pray also is really important. Don't let the prayer meeting ever be about your praying or how long you do it or eloquence or fanciness. No. Uh, just brevity, target, and being real and honest. And learning that when you go to pray, you can learn to discipline yourself and make yourself realize, okay, I'm going to pray now. I'm addressing God. I'm going to forget out about everybody else and I'm just going to talk to the Lord and just be real. That's what makes for a good corporate prayer meeting.